Welcome to episode 16 of Gliding to Glory. The all-star event has begun, so we're going to be ripping about 27 packs trying to pull them. We're going to upgrade the team and, of course, hop into a game. Now, before we do any of that, if you can't tell, I'm very, very, very sick. The good news is I'm starting to feel a little bit better. The bad news is my throat is absolutely killing me. So I apologize if I don't have a ton of energy in this episode or I'm not sounding too much like myself, but I'm getting there, I promise. Now we're starting off today's episode with almost 900,000 coins on the dot, but we have four objectives to claim right here and we have three. So that's 900 coins and XP collectible. Cool, awesome. But we have our 10,000 coins for completing 600 objectives, meaning we now have over 910,000 coins in the bank. We've also spent 74,000 coins on upgrades. So uh, we're almost at a million coins. We should hit that next week. In fact, we should hit that in two days. In terms of packs, today we have some really good stuff. We have this Icon Choice Pack. Not only that, but we do have our Mega Player Pack. We have our NHL Player Pack. We have our other Mega Pack. Then we have our Mini Ultimate. And then we have an Ultimate Pack we got for trading in Team of the Year collectibles, as well as all kinds of other stuff. So hopefully we can get ourselves a couple All-Star players here today. A reminder of what the team is currently looking like. We have Solani, Messier, Pedersen, Myers, Sakic, Eichel, Natchez, Giroux, Kane, McDavid, Bell, Nelson. On defense, we have Thompson with Hedman, Lindstrom with Jones, Ovi with Yossi, and in net, we have Mark andre Fleury. Every single player you see here and every single coin up above is from playing the game. I have not spent any money, I have not bought a single pack, and I have not used the auction house to do it. I play the game 45 minutes a day. That's one game of Rivals, one game of Squad Battles, one game of Rush, and then one moment. Other than that, I'm not allowed to do much else. Maybe sets, that's it. And that's what I've been able to build with almost 1 million coins earned over the last 16 weeks. Let's go ahead and get into this pack opening and hopefully add some of these all-star players to the team. There's objectives to get done. There's some sick MSPs out. Let's make it happen. Our first pack. Hey, we started off with a live moments, Anthony Sorelli. I'm going to take it. Now, if you guys don't know, because a lot of people ask every single week, I get questions. How do I get all these packs? All of these packs are either from Rush, Moments, Squad Battles, Champs, Rivals, whatever. Now, I did throw champs in there. If I play a game of champs, I'm not allowed to play a game of moments for that day. It's one or the other. That means in a week, maximum amount of games I can play of champs is five. No champs on Mondays or Tuesdays. You can get packs from objectives. You get packs from a bunch of different ways. And that's how I get all of these packs. Sets, another way to get packs, as in this one, we get ourselves an 80 Ryan Hartman. Three gold player pack. And then we're going to do our icon choice pack and hopefully get Gretzky or Lemieux. Today would be a great day if we were able to get one of those two players. We do get uh, Joe Pavelski in this one. And here we go. Icon Choice Pack, EA. Hook us up. We need it really badly. We'll do what? Let's just go one, two, three. Let's just do one, one, two, three. First card. Adam Oates. All right. Not what I'm looking for. Cool, cool, cool. Card number two. LaFontaine. All right. EA. I need help on this series. Gretzky, I'll take how. Give me an 85 I don't have. Give me something. Ah, oh, Paul Coffey. I love Paul Coffey. That sucks, though. Um, do you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dashboard the pack. I don't know who we already have, and we are working on the icons, so we'll leave the pack there for now. I'll take a look, and uh, I'll choose who I need later. All right, let me take a look here and see who we need. If we can use any of those players, great. If not, that's a real, real shame, but... Want to double check here. So the ones that we already have done for the power-up icons here, we have um, Sadine, Potvin, and Messier. So I think that means we can take Lafontaine because he should be a Solani set. Oh, no, we already have Solani done. Okay, don't take him. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe... Oh, no. Wait, I feel... Wait, are we screwed? I think we already have everyone... Like, I don't think any of those icons help us when making a new one for one of the guys that we need. Wow. All right. Um, that sucks. That was worst case scenario. That that couldn't have gone worse for us in terms of getting an icon choice pack. It could not have gone worse. So, um, wow, that really sucks. I guess we just take whoever. We're not going to be like, I guess I could try and make Solani again, but I just feel like that's a waste of resources, right? We could take the 84 Paul Coffee. And at least we have an 84 to trade in for sets. That's, wow, that's really disappointing. That could have been Gretzky or Lemieux. Let's just keep on going. Hopefully get ourselves something good here today. An 81, Nicole Hensley, what's up? Now I'm mad, you know what I mean? Like we could have gotten something great and we got nothing to help us whatsoever. So now we need to get something big. Now we need to add some of these all-star players to the team. You know what I mean? 
And so far, we have not gotten much. All right, let's do this uh, mini ultimate pack here from our diamond collectible set. See if we can get ourselves anything good. We get Sean Couturier, 82. Oh, man, every time. Whenever there's a color change in the pack that's all 80 or better, I think it's going to be something good. But it's not because it has the wrong color. EA, you got to fix that, please, I beg. Another 82 there. Come on, give me a purple or something here, EA. Oh, no. Now, don't get me wrong. We got very lucky last week and pulled 92 Pedersen, 89 Nelson, and 86 Makar. But yikes, this is not looking good so far. Keep on going here. Mini pack. Skip it, of course. Not going to get anything in a mini pack. We got a bronze goalie, actually. I just realized that was a bronze goalie. Not bad. We have this 82 overall choice pack. I don't even know where I got it. Probably from objectives or something. It just doesn't help us in the slightest. None of these players help. So, I mean, cool. Let's just keep on going and hopefully get ourselves something usable here today. Again, we got that 92 and an 89 last week. I'm not expecting too much this week. But with the All-Star event out, I would love to get a couple of those players to add to the team. Help with objectives. Maybe they go up during the All-Star game. Maybe they don't. But either way, it would be very, very helpful. Nothing here. Come on, base pack. Now, the ultimate pack should, in theory, have something for us, right? You would think. It's going to have at least something for the team. So, that's going to be nice. That's going to be useful. Premium pack here. We'll open this up. Again, I'm just going to start skipping packs, I think. I, they just there, There's so many of them, and most of them have nothing in them. You know what I mean? So, I think we're just better off skipping a lot of them. Like, this mega player pack, I'm not going to skip. Actually, do you know what? 30 items? I am going to skip, and I'm glad I did. There's nothing in it. Literally nothing. What do we got? 80 high? 81? 81 high. 81 high! Yeah, looking great. Love it. Gold NHL player packs. These packs are actually pretty solid. Five uh, gold players. Three of them are at least 80 or better. These are actually pretty solid packs. 15k packs you get from Rush. Nothing in this one. But they're definitely a lot better than like base packs or mini packs or whatever else you used to get. These are pretty solid. So I'm glad that I did Rush when I did because these are, these are all right. Now, can we get anything worth pulling in them? Anything at all? We got... An 81. An 81 high out of the two. Do you know what? It's fine. Mini pack here. And we get nothing, of course. But we are winding down on the really bad packs before we get into the really good stuff. So I'm okay with it. You know what? Maybe they're saving all the good stuff for the very end. Come on, EA. Hook me up. One all-star card is all I ask. One. I don't care if it's a goalie. I just want one for objectives. You know what I mean? Help us get started. One goal player pack here. Of course, Connor McMichael. Good to see ya. All right, couple premium packs, and then we get into the uh, the, uh, the ultimate, the mega, the NHL player. Of course, I'm just going to skip all these. Even like a power-up collectible would be nice, you know what I mean? Like a little bit of help here, EA. Just something. I know I'm being greedy after last week, but like, come on, you gotta, you gotta give us something here. All right, so we have a ultimate pack, a mega pack, an elite pack, and an NHL player pack. Let's go in order from front to back and see if we can get ourselves anything added to the squad this week. Now, after this, of course, there will probably be more packs because I'm going to do sets and whatnot, but I wouldn't mind something now. Now. No. All right, an elite pack. I used to love elite packs. Last year, they were insane. This year, haven't been as good. Prove me wrong, EA. Prove me wrong. Give me something big in this elite pack. We got an 80. An 82. Wow. I feel like I haven't even seen an 82 in a long time. Anything else? No. On to our mega pack, 30 items. I am going to skip it. Don't worry. I'm not going to make you watch this entire thing. I don't see anything above. I don't see any purples. Do we get anything worth noting? Not really. 82 high. Hey, look, a thousand coins. It's been a bad week for packs, but we have our ultimate pack. This is it. This is the one that's going to give us some stuff to add to the team. I guarantee it. Come on. We get Sonny Milano. We get Noah Dobson. We got Aaron Ambrose in 83. That's helpful. Anything 83 and above, definitely good for sets. Can we get anything else 83 or above? We do. Nico Hootenin. I did not say that right, but another 83. Good to see you. 84 Pedersen. Got your 92 last week. Thanks for being here. We got Schmid. Schmid? I don't know. Zegris, what's up? Where are you getting traded to? Shea Theodore, another 83. You gotta be joking. EA, come on. Yikes, 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 yikes. That was terrible. We'll go ahead and make some sets here. Uh, just a heads up, obviously the camera is off. I will not be turning it back on. Just don't want to deal with the bright lights right now with my headaches. So we'll continue on with the episode without the camera, but have some fun here today and hopefully upgrade the team a little bit. We definitely need some power-up collectibles, so let's get started. I'm going to start here by doing some sets, you know, do, uh, silver re-rolls and jersey re-rolls and whatever else, trying to get something for the team. If we get nothing, at least we're getting more gold players. All right, doesn't look like we're getting really anything here. Nine, of course, nine. Yeah, I don't know if we're getting any more packs. 
We got one silver reroll. One. Oh my god, you're joking. We're at nine there as well. All right, so it looks like we're getting a silver reroll today. That's it for extra pack. Oh, and a mini pack. Let's go. And maybe we get lucky in our mini pack and we pull like a, a goalie mask celebration or something. And, and then we can do another base pack, right? Come on, goalie mask or celebration. We got neither. All right, two goal player pack and then we're done for packs for now. That's a shame. Nothing in it, of course. How many players do we have in the collection? 228, I would say at least like 190 are gonna be gold. 222 are gold. Okay, we have some work to do. You know who we didn't pull either? Either of the Hughes brothers. We're still waiting to get either of them to add uh, their X Factors to the team. This is getting ridiculous. We're also 17 hours away from doing an X Factor pack. So next weekend, we have a chance at McDavid or McCarr. But yeah, here they are just hanging out in our storage set. Both Quinn and Jack Hughes. Whereas if we pull their base card, as soon as we get their base cards, we can just start upgrading them past their base card value. They don't make the team at 84, but they really are two of the better cards in the game right now, and we can't use them. All right, well, I'm going to make some power-up collectibles. We'll just upgrade the team a little bit. I don't think we're going to add an MSP. Like, who are we Who are we going to get rid of, and who are we going to add? You know what I mean? Like, looking at the team. Like, I guess we could do Eliosh, right? We could do Eliosh, and that would get rid of base McDavid. That's, that's, I mean, that's something we could do. Yeah, maybe we do that just to help start getting done some of these objectives. Because, like... I don't want to get rid of Ovi. We just made him. You know what I mean? I don't want to trade him in or, or anything like that. Not yet. Anyways, we just made him. So I think we're better off maybe going Eliosh. We have to work on objectives no matter what. That has to be something that we do. So maybe we get rid of McDavid and we add Patrick Eliosh. Now, obviously, we don't trade McDavid in or anything. We keep him. I just mean like he comes off the team in case we get his X factor. I guess we could go Kolzig as well. Get a goalie. We could do that. Maybe we just get a goalie. I, I don't think goalies matter that much. We can get a goalie. And we could get rid of Flurry, trade in Flurry. Eh, maybe we do that. Okay, made some collectibles. I made Eliosh and I made uh, Olaf Kolzig. Now, I don't know how much I really want to upgrade Eliosh. I mean, he's probably better than Meyer. Probably not better than Pedersen. Probably better than Kane. Like, I, it's time for us to start moving on from some of these players. You know what I mean? I wish that we would have just pulled an all-star card. That would have been great. Would have been very helpful. Didn't happen. We have Yossi. If we were to trade in Roman Yossi right now, hypothetically, not saying I'm going to do it, but if we were to trade in Roman Yossi right now, we get four power-up collectibles, and then I could just make Newman in, and we could just have two righties on the third D pair. Those four power-ups could be very useful. That'll help with objectives. We have so many power-ups that we need as well. Like, so, so many. I almost feel like we have to do it. So, Roman Yossi, you're gone. Thank you for being here. And... I'm thinking maybe we get rid of Brock Nelson here as well. I'm thinking about it. We kind of downgrade the team a little bit to make the team a little bit better. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, I could throw in Seth Jarvis here, right? Just hypothetical. And I could trade in the Nelson for four more power-up collectibles. That'll help upgrade Solani. That'll help upgrade uh, Lidstrom needs it and Ovi. And I just think we need to do it. All right. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Uh, Roman Yossi is going to be let go. Really good card that we ended up getting for free from objectives. So can't complain whatsoever. And then we'll also get rid of Nelson here. And that's eight power-up collectibles we're getting for trading in these two cards. That's very, very helpful. Um, and then I can actually make a bunch more. Like, I can make a bunch of power-ups, too. So this is going to be really good. So Solani is definitely going up. Uh, okay, one, two, three. Yeah, we have, uh, we have nine more after that. We'll do one more. We'll get him that extra speed boost. And that, we'll leave him at that, though. We'll leave him at that. So he'll be a 91. Nick Lidstrom definitely needs to go up as well. I don't think it's a speed boost, but got to keep Lidstrom on track here. So he goes up to a 90. Ovi gets one upgrade here, goes up to an 89. Now we're out of power-ups, but I do need to go make Teppo Newman in. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. Oh, and we have our free pack. Wow, thank you for your generosity. Actually, a thousand coins I'm not upset with. I'll take that. Just making a few more power-up collectibles here. I, I didn't want to, if I'm being honest. I thought icons would be better, but... Let's go ahead and just make a few more, get these power-ups, so that way we can upgrade Newman in a bit. I forgot all about uh, doing that, so we'll put him on the team, and uh, we'll go ahead and hop into a game after that. All right, Newman is on, we'll upgrade him a bit, and uh, that'll be that for this week, I believe. Yeah, because we can just upgrade him a little bit, and this is going to be a really good card as well. Like, Newman's card is awesome, and uh, we'll probably end up taking the number one spot in a few weeks once we get him all the way up, so I'm happy with the addition. He'll go up to an 86, which isn't too bad. Is the next one a speed boost? Tell me it is. That would be really nice. It is. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. We're good. 
New minute at 86. I'm happy. So that's our big addition this week, I guess. Uh, El Eliash will stay at an 83. Kulzig will stay at an 83. I do feel like we're kind of making the team worse here. Don't get me wrong. Like, I get that we're making the team worse. But you got to make it worse to make it better. Uh, we are at 912,000 coins before we head into this game. It's a weak uh, episode, honestly. We didn't get anything in the packs. Couldn't do too much with our collection or, or anything. It's not great. We do get to try out a new goalie today, though. That'll be fun. So here's the team after 16 weeks. Solani, Messier, Pedersen, Meyer, Sakic, Eichel, Natchez, Giroux, Kane, Eliash, Bell, and Jarvis. Thompson, Hedman, Lindstrom, Jones, Ovi, and Newman, and Kolzig, and Nett. Now this week it looks like this. I guarantee you next week it will look much different. Seth Jarvis won't be on the team, etc. Yeah, I definitely made some mistakes. That's okay, though. That's the fun of the series. All right, let's go ahead and hop into our game today. See how we do. Try out the new goalie. Try out Chepo Newman in. Not a lot of changes to the team this week, but hopefully we can get ourselves a W. Okay, we have a game. We're playing Hypogeal Mickle 4. What? Well, here we go. Wish me luck. Could use it. Uh, we have a starting player. It looks like 10, 6, and 1. Oh, boy. We're playing somebody who just started playing. Maybe not. Maybe this is just like an alternate account or something. You know what I mean? Maybe this is somebody's like... I wanted to start in a new team, and I wanted to start again, and, and start in a lower division. Maybe they quit out of their first, like, six games, and then they're dominating the rest. Who knows? Pedersen to Thompson! What a shot, but he can't get that one to go, and that really hurt my throat to say. I need to calm down. I ain't gonna lie to you, not a lot happening in this period, and it's, it's bursts, so there's not... Okay, well, there you go. There's something to talk about. It's one nothing. We're losing! This guy's pretending to be bad. Who would have thought? But yeah, not a lot happening in the period. Uh, I'll end up losing this game. I'm almost guaranteeing that I will lose this game. This guy is a much better player than me. Just because you have a bad team and I have a better team doesn't mean I'm going to win. And uh, I think we're going to see that here today. I would bet money. This is a Division One player on an alternate account who got bored and wanted to play bad players. And that's what's happening here. And he has matched up against me. And it sucks because I suck. Take a look at the stats here after one. Uh, we usually have three shots. I thought I had a lot more than three shots in that period, but it is what it is. Let's take a look at their team, and it's a, it's a really bad team. It's an intentionally bad team. And you know what's bad about it? Is that they're going to win a lot of games with this intentionally bad team. And it sucks. Who's in net? Of course it's Markstrom. Of course it's Markstrom. And of course, yes, it's a rival's burst. So there's not a lot to talk about. Like, the periods are done in, in 30 seconds. You know what I mean? So... I'll do my best to get some commentary in. It's not a lot to talk about. He's gotten me three times with the flying poke. Three times. I know it's coming. I can't stop myself from skating straight into the goalie. Three times. We're at the end of the period here, and I can tell you, literally nothing has happened. I honestly really do not like Rivals Burst. Oh, wait, here we go. Morrissey in, and a big save by Olaf Kolzig, keeping it a 1-0 game. That was the highlight of the period. There is nothing happening in this damn game. Nope. Yeah, that makes sense. Connor McDavid, 2-0. 99 body checking? No! We have 87 McDavid. 2-0, <laughs> we're losing. You know what's sad? We're losing 2 nothing. Kolsik's actually been pretty good. Pedersen with a chance and uh, yeah, the, the Markstrom makes an amazing poke. I keep getting poked by Markstrom. Finally, goal! We score! We're not getting shut out by base Markstrom here today. It's 2-1. to one. Can't even be mad, then. Can't even be mad. The guy's just a better player than me. It is what it is. Jones doesn't get hit with the flying poke that time. Thank you! I knew it was coming. That was the third time Jones has been in going for the flying poke. The third time. And finally, we beat it. It's a tie game. It doesn't matter the situation. If you can have a team as bad as this, and you can play in Division 2, because this guy is not in Division 3. It said at the beginning of the game, this is a Division 3 player, but he is not in Division 3. I know that for a fact. If you can have a bad team like this and compete in the higher divisions, you are a very good player. That is the reality of this game. This isn't him winning because of ice tilt. Nothing like that. That's not how this works. Solani can't score there. This is a better player on a 
probably better connection than me, but that's just the reality of it. He has a worse team, but is a much better player. He has more patience, he knows what he's doing with the puck, he knows all the glitches that you do in Division 1, which I also know, right, being in Division 1 on different accounts and whatnot. However, um, I don't play like that, and I refuse to do some of the stuff that, you know, others do in D1, like those uh, corner shots and stuff like that. I'm not doing it. So, this guy knows what he's doing, we've been able to shut him down for the most part, and it looks like we're going to overtime. Pedersen across to Lindstrom, and he scores! We beat the Smurf account, and it feels good! Glide in the glory, walks away with a victory. Let's go, boy. Your final stats. We probably didn't deserve to win, but that's okay. Let's move on. We finish off this week's episode of Glide in the Glory with 912,764 coins. We've spent 74,000 on upgrades, meaning that we have made a grand total of 986,000 coins in this series since day one. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you next week with another episode of Glide in the Glory.